Is that you, Sophie? Sophie's out. It's just you and me, Frank. Who else could it be, Frank? But you're... Dead? But I'm not dead, Frank. Feel. Smell. <laughs> we buried you. <laughs> I identified the body. <laughs> it was you. In that coffin. Shh. <laughs> it's all right. None of that matters. I'm back now. I dreamt this. It's the same dream time after time, and when I wake up and I've lost you again, the grief is as strong as the day they ditched your car out. What happened? I had to get away. I was losing control. Away where? They charged me with your murder! I've been locked up for months with dealers and muggers and God knows what scum. And you have been doing what? One word would have stopped it all. One word to say that you were alive. I didn't know, Frank, I swear. When I left, it was to get away from everything. The news, the papers, people. The first clue I had was on Tuesday. I found an old newspaper in the hotel. It said you'd been released. Well, I had to stop a young English couple and ask, release from what? Where were you? It doesn't matter. What matters is I'm home. Where were you? Mauritius! I have been to hell and back. And the biggest issue on your mind was which cocktail to order. It wasn't like that. It wasn't. I nearly went under. Oh, dear. Tell me about it. Sometimes you have to lie low for a while, lick your wounds and take stock till you're ready for the fight. Fight? Until you're ready to face the world again. You said fight. I miss James. I want him back, Frank. And I thought your death was a nightmare. What are you doing? Looking! Looking for what? God! I forgot what it was like to be in the same room as you. Frank, stop it! Where is he? I want to see my son! No! The... Your heart, Frank? Oh, spare me your concerned wife act. I'm looking for my pills. It's no big deal. Other people would have considered the social niceties, like, how have you been? Or phoning the police. You haven't done that yet. I told you. I came straight here. Look, forget the plan. You're an unfit mother. Your disappearance proves that, if nothing else. I thought we could do a deal. You give me James, and I'll clear your name. My name is clear. I'm a free man. Did you feel like a free man before tonight? Your freedom only proves you had the cash to buy it. Excuse me. You're here. You are the living proof of my innocence. Am I really, Frank? What? Am I really here? Nobody saw me arrive. I could slip away as easily as I slipped in. I'm a dead woman. I don't exist. So if I killed you now, the world would never know. I've forgotten how much I missed you, Frank. So, tell me about the funeral. 
to have a good send-off. Far better than the next one will be. <laughs> Cuts both ways. I mean, if you were to die tonight, who would be the prime suspect? Doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to rule your dead wife out the running. Choose your weapon. We'll play a little party game. Oh, stop this. <laughs> if you were a murderer, what sort of murderer would you be? You first. Although, we know the answer to that already. A bad one. Because the victim's still alive. Wrong. Because you got the wrong girl. You're crazy. Little details aside, you'd go for something quick, whereas I prefer something lingering. Like a slow incarceration for a murder that didn't take place? Am I getting warmer? Could you go through with it? Or would you get someone else to do your dirty work? Pete McCarty? Zoe? They all have the prize. Who did it that night, Frank? The night you thought you'd seen me off. Did you push the car over the cliff? Or stand there while someone else did? Who was she? Tell me. Some blonde. Some dumb blonde. As it happens. <laughs> I just paid her to drive the car. You staged this from the start, didn't you? It was always too perfect. You say you've suffered. Well, you're still here to tell the tale. David isn't. I'm right then. You could call it perfect, yes. There's a, uh, what's the word? A symmetry about it. You killed the girl. Nice try, Frank. But I was on the plane by then. And I can prove it. I've forgotten how much I missed you, Frank. So, tell me about the funeral. Did I have a good send-off? Far better than the next one will be. <laughs> Cuts both ways. I mean, if you were to die tonight, who would be the prime suspect? Doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to rule your dead wife out the running. Choose your weapon. We'll play a little party game. Oh, stop this. <laughs> if you were a murderer, what sort of murderer would you be? You first. Although, we know the answer to that already. A bad one. Because the victim's still alive. Wrong. Because you got the wrong girl. You're crazy. Little details aside, you'd go for something quick, whereas I prefer something lingering. Like a slow incarceration for a murder that didn't take place? Am I getting warmer? Could you go through with it? Or would you get someone else to do your dirty work? Pete McCarty? Zoe? They all have the prize. Who did it that night, Frank? The night you thought you'd seen me off. Did you push the car over the cliff? Or stand there while someone else did? Who was she? Tell me. Some blonde. Some dumb blonde. As it happens. <laughs> I just paid her to drive the car. You staged this from the start, didn't you? It was always too perfect. You say you've suffered. Well, you're still here to tell the tale. David isn't. I'm right then. You could call it perfect, yes. There's a, uh, what's the word? A symmetry about it. You killed the girl. Nice try, Frank. But I was on the plane by then. And I can prove it. Can I tempt you? Did she have a name? Wendy, Sandy, something like that. 
She's the right build and the right price. It's all I can remember. Can we talk straight for a moment? <laughs> That'll be a first. I do it the easy way, Frank. Retire, step aside, whatever. But give me James. Never. We could find you another wife. Maybe Sophie might be interested. Well, I'd hate to lose her as a nanny. I wouldn't even dignify that with an answer. You do that for me, and I'll go to the police. I'll explain about going away. And what about your letter to your solicitor? Claiming that I was trying to kill you and the phony hotel bookings and the tales that I'm a wife beater? That's going to take a lot of explaining. It's called wasting police time and conspiracy. I'll forget everything I know about the blonde and the arrangements we made. If I don't, well, it could all start again. What? The interviews, the accusations, the murder charge, the remand centre. You wouldn't be so stupid. I paid her to dump the car at the quarry. How did she wind up in the car in the quarry? You know, Frank, I know you do. You bitch! I want my son! I would rather watch you die than watch you take my son! Go! Oh. Oh. Ambulance. Please, Kim, help me. Whatever you want, have. You know what I want? Phone. Say it. OK. Say it. Take James. I wondered about a reconciliation for the sake of James and the estate. It wouldn't work again. I know every trick in your book. I don't respect you anymore. Kim, please! You're a dinosaur, Frank. And you know what happened to them? I cried at your funeral. I loved you, Kim. Remember? Remember, you love me. Cheers to life. Ha, ha, ha.